Boeing has already had to pay billions of dollars in cost overruns and lengthy delays to its flagship Dreamliner jet. Now the beleaguered liner has hit fresh trouble as air safety officials open an official probe into a fire that broke out recently on an empty plane in Boston's Logan Airport. John Ostrow is a Wall Street Journal reporter in Chicago and he joins us on the show this morning. John, thanks very much. Good morning. Great to, great to have you with us. Now, tell us what, what this means for Boeing, what's actually happened. Well, on Tuesday morning, the NTSB expanded its initial uh, look into what happened on the Dreamliner in Boston on Monday into a formal investigation. What that means is that they now name uh, an investigator in charge, as well as official parties to the investigation. So the probe into the fire on the Japan Airlines 787 has officially become uh, a, a formal investigation that means uh, an expanded look at, at what actually took place aboard that, that Dreamliner. Now, do we have any sense at the moment of, of what this really means for Boeing as an airline? Because obviously it's already incurred billions of dollars. Is this, is this standard for massive companies like this to have these sort of engineering hitches? Because it's certainly well, worrying from a consumer's point of view, a customer's point of view. Well, certainly uh, when you develop uh, uh, technologies on this scale, uh, such as new commercial aircraft, that there are going to be natural glitches, whether it's in software or small, uh, small, the reliability of small parts. But what we saw on Monday certainly uh, was outside of that normal uh, teething problems that we've seen with the aircraft as of late. Certainly for the, for the flying public, uh, there uh, have been analysts who have cautioned that uh, if Boeing uh, does not address the, the issues uh, in, in, in rapid bed, that it could uh, create a passenger aversion. This type of situation also happened to Airbus with its A380. Back in November 2010, they uh, suffered uh, an a, a explosion of one of its four uh, Rolls-Royce engines. And there was a lengthy investigation that followed after that event as well. Uh, and um, as well, Airbus had to pay uh, upwards of $340 million uh, in uh, write-offs to its earnings, uh, uh, EADS, its parent company, rather, uh, as a result of structural issues in the A380's wing structure. You mentioned the Airbus A380 there. What kind of impact do you think this will have on the, on the wider industry as a whole? Well, I, I think what it, it says to the industry is that, uh, that Boeing and Airbus, uh, uh, as leaders in commercial aviation, are going to be continuing to push the envelope in terms of uh, what they, the kind of types of products they develop and what it means ultimately for airlines which are trying to reduce their costs and also to improve the, uh, the experience for the, uh, the flying public. So overall, uh, what, what, it, what it says uh, to the industry is that uh, the types of uh, technology that are going to be developed will come with a, a degree of risk. But of course, uh, working with safety regulators in both the U.S. and Europe and around the world, that they're going to get a product that is uh, fully safe and fully certified. Let's hope so. John Ostra, a Wall Street Journal reporter in Chicago, thank you very much for joining us.